coming to America 2. We finally got the trailer for coming to America 2. Um, so yeah. Now, Eddie Murphy has been trying to make a comeback. He was in an Oscar bait kind of movie for Netflix last year. Didn't get nominated, but it was a movie he was in. It was okay. Um, and he's been talking about Beverly Hills Cop 4 and uh, Coming to America 2. Now, those are his most successful movies. Hopefully, he comes back and finishes the trilogy. He gives us Nutty Professor Part 3. Actually, don't do that. I was joking, but... Um, when I heard Coming to America 2, I said, yeah, that makes sense. Beverly Hills Cop 4, people like the first one. I don't really hear people talk about the trilogy as a whole. Um, I know, I mean, even when they put, uh, Coming to America out on 4K and they put Beverly Hills Cop out on 4K, they just put out the first one. People really only talk about that first one. So fourth one and kind of what's been going on this year related to you know cops in America and I wouldn't say it's just only America but you know it's there's some been some issues and so making a movie about that might be a touchy subject I don't have a problem with it personally but I don't know and so it's weird to me and we don't really make buddy cop movies the way we used to anymore like I mean I know we put out like bad boys for life and stuff but Besides that, we don't really make buddy cop movies. They're kind of like an outdated thing. And so, I don't know. We'll see what happens with that. But Coming to America was the one I, w I was looking at going, yeah, let's do this. Um, because Coming to America is a movie about immigration. It has themes about the subject. And, you know, I'm not going to... This video isn't meant to get, like, political. So, I'm just getting... Most of this is just brought up to talk about one of the subject. But... Yeah, I liked you know, the first movie, and it had a lot of themes of immigration. That's a big subject going on for reasons I'm not going to get into because I don't want to get into politics when I'm talking about movies and stuff. I'm just bringing up little sprinklets of it because it relates to the subject I'm talking about in this video. So, uh, But yeah, I'm a big uh, A. Murphy fan. I think the Saturday Night Live stuff is really funny. Funny guy. Okay, I want. I would like to see him come back. I don't think it's going to work out, especially with this trailer. Um, now, this was, it. most of this trailer, it was like only like a minute or two. Most of it was spent advertising the cast, um, which, good cast, sure. Prominent black actors, nice. Um, basically, it barely even touched over the plot of this movie, which is that Eddie Murphy has a son in America, so must come back to get him because his father's dying and he needs someone to take the heir to the throne. And so that's kind of the plot of this movie. And it's like, okay, that's not a bad plot. That's, I mean, it was the plot of Shrek 3, but I, I don't think this is going to be as bad as Shrek 3. But... The jokes in this trailer weren't that funny, and there were very little of them. And that kind of has me a little worried. And so, yeah, I am kind of confused about it. And again, most of the jokes in this trailer were not very funny. They were actually kind of bad, so the ones that were here weren't very good. I hope this movie's good. You know, of course. Um, I, I really want it to be good. You know, it's not like I sat here waiting for any further announcements about this project because I want it to be bad. No, I want this to be good as much as the next guy, but we'll see. Um, now, this is a Paramount film that they were going to put in theaters. I think Netflix is doing a lot more with Paramount. I actually hope Am uh, Amazon just buys Paramount and stuff. That would be nice. I don't think that's ever going to happen, but... They're buying the rights to a lot of their movies, which is cool. Um, now, this movie was rumored to come back out in December on Amazon Prime, but apparently what had happened is that was a rumor that people just caught hold of and said, yeah, it's happening, it's official, and everyone treated it like it was, but that wasn't true. Amazon was 
signing a deal with them to put the movie out, but they had not finalized that deal. So everybody was reporting on the deal as if it was finalized, which it was not. So now we know officially it's coming out March 5th, which I find a little weird that we got a trailer this soon because uh, most streaming companies do not put out trailers this far in advance for things. They use, like, Cobra Kai a few weeks ago. They put out the trailer for season three, and that comes out next month. Um, Disney's a little bit different. Disney likes to push marketing as quick as possible, but, you know, they don't tend to put out trailers too, too, too out before, before it's released. Uh, do I think this will be a big movie? I think if Borat's any indication, uh, comedy films like this, I, I'm not saying these, this movie is similar to Borat, but I just mean like comedy films from that are based on well-known beloved movies do well on streaming. And so, yeah, I think this movie will be a hit. I think people will be interested to see it. And plus, this is the first of Eddie Murphy's kind of reboots of his older films it's not really a reboot it's a sequel but you know um so we'll have to see what happens here um but yeah i i didn't care for the trailer but the, there wasn't too much here so it's not even like i have so much to go off of that i was like oh uh, but we'll see um yeah who knows it could go either way it is it is a thing with um comedy movies that the they come back years later and they make a sequel and it's not usually good bill and ted 3 i know a lot of people like that one i liked it too i own it uh it it was very flawed though it had a lot of issues um dumb and dumber 2 zoolander 2 just stuff like this just just doesn't work out very often very rarely so the fact Eddie Murphy announced two of them we'll see I think Eddie Murphy is one of those comedic talents that probably works best in the 90s but if we can get him back in the spotlight I'm all for it but who knows what's gonna happen but fingers crossed it's good fingers crossed